Well, I was going to uh, pump this video out, but to be honest with you, it's going to be extremely short, so I'm not going to do it. <sighs> Simple as that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this clip, and you won't even notice because the next clip will come up instantly. Um, once I receive these clips, which I've ordered, and they, they're they coming from the UK, so uh, it's going to take a little while for them to get here, that's for sure. Um, fortunately, I'm not in a rush. Uh, that's really it, guys. I mean, I've just given this uh, a good coating of... Uh, this polycrylic uh, protective finish, water-based, so I could wash my brush out in the water. That was kind of neat. Uh, clear semi-gloss, so that's why it hasn't changed anything. It probably doesn't look any damn different to you. And uh, I'll just now let it dry. And uh, once it's... Oops, got stuck there. No surprise. Uh, once it's dry, I'll give it another coat. Uh, get rid of these uh, little blubbles of... Uh, stuff um that's about it i really can't say much more than that can i i mean the pieces over here yes you've seen the s type i'm working on for a customer uh these pieces are now all coated um again i will let them dry once they're dry i'll give them another coat it takes about an hour to dry um and that that's going to be it so next thing you'll see will be me putting those nice new clips on uh, but that's going to be in my life probably a couple of weeks well i have got my package from uh, it says sender's name is howard christian the company is called bresco in the uk they do pretty much any clip uh, that you need for your vehicle they are effing amazing so uh it's to go on here so let's see what they've sent me and i can only highly recommend this company because they have so many clips plastic grommets whatever you need to rebuild your vehicle let's have a look and see what they've sent me well shall we get some scissors <laughs> let's get some scissors to open this motherfucker why is it every time i'm videoing somebody texts it text, 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 text me okay so in here is exactly what I ordered. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, oh hang on, let's, let's uh, get this unhooked. I don't really want to destroy the bags. I've destroyed enough bags in my life. And no, I'm not talking about plastic ones. So what do we have? We have the little clips and the pieces that need to attach them to the wood. And you need to pay attention to my previous videos. Now, I don't need a lot, but, you know, I just ordered a shitload anyway. What the hell? And what happens is you get these and you put them through there in the correct orientation and at the moment without having the ouch <laughs> sorry guys these things are fucking sharp <laughs> depending on which way around they need to go yeah it's yeah it's going to be that way around and then you need to hammer them into here how don't know yet probably with something like a chisel on there something to punch this in and i've got to get them in the right position and obviously there is a lot of leeway here and this will give me exactly what i need well i say what i need it's going to be what the upholstery company needs 
because I'm doing this to save me money um, and stop them from charging me an arm and a leg. Not that they're extortionate, it's just I love to do as many things as I can for myself. Uh, looking at this lot, I ain't gonna need them all, so I may well just give them to the company and say, do what you will. I hate to waste it, I really do. So, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, I got a frog in the throat. So I'll fix these ones in here in the appropriate positions and I will use the old bugger to get those in the correct place. And whatever I have left, I would never ever have any useful. So I will just donate them to, well, the company is called BAS. Um, and they can do with them whatever they will. At least then, I know they won't be wasted. I mean, I don't need this many, but, you know, there's a certain limit that you have to buy. And so that's what I did. Cost me quite a few bucks, I must admit. But I need, what, three, six, eight, maybe. And I got, what, two, four, six... Eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's an odd number. Oh, twelve. So I got twelve plus another twelve, which I really didn't need, but there you go. And twenty-five of these, and I need two, four, six, eight. Oh well. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pay it forward. It's as simple as that. I'm going to pay it forward to these guys. And maybe they'll just look upon me nicely when it comes to the total bill. Who knows? Uh, and that's going to be BAS in Catalonia. And uh, hopefully within the next oh, two, three months, I'll be heading that way uh, with lumps of uh, metal that are powder coated and hand them my interior for my mark ii and say do the seats do the transmission tunnel give me all the shit i need to do the rest of the vehicle that's my plan well you know best laid plans of mice and men i can't remember who wrote that book i know i had to study it for my english o levels hmm that shows you how fucking old I am. What else did we do? Day of the Triffids? Pygmalion. Oh, all those wonderful books. Little did I know, at the time, they were classic. That's the trouble when you're a kid. You're too fucking stupid to realise what the hell it is you're looking at. Right, it is now time to fit these uh did a few experiments off camera um and trying different methods to insert these metal clips and as you can see these two are well and truly buggered uh, i tried with a hammer and a chisel that didn't work then i tried doing it with this almost worked almost then i tried drilling little holes where the spikes go and then use that so let's see if I can uh, demo straight this is a 1 16th drill sure you get them in the right orientation for the originals it probably doesn't make a difference but you never know do you 
Best laid plans of mice and men. All right. Let's see if I can demonstrate this. Now, what you do is grab one of these, and obviously I'd used one of these previously and just pushed it to make the marks and then penciled into it. So now we can push this in, mid to fingers, but don't forget, he screams. Did I open a bag of these? No, I guess I didn't. What a prick. Prick, prick, prick. Done a lot of prick stuff lately. All right, let's just dump some of these out. And obviously you want to make sure that when you put these in, give them a twist, because if you put them in the other way, they're just going to fall out. Okay, so give them a twist. Now, you don't have to do this straight away. You can probably get away with leaving it to close to the end. Hopefully you're still seeing this. Now what I do, I use a piece of wood underneath. It just uh, helps prevent damage, gives it a thicker bind. You're going to have to choose your own method to do this. I found this works for me. It may not work for you. Whoops. Come back, baby. Go and make a baby, baby back, my baby back. My baby back ribs. And just squeeze it in evenly, which is what I am attempting to do. And then they're rushing away thinking, oh, that's it. <laughs> Oh no, that would be too fucking easy. Right, as you can see, I've now got that pretty much squashed down. Hang on. This has got to go in just a little bit further. And the problem here is, of course, it's actually into the aluminium. All right, now this... <laughs> Excuse me. Lively little piece of wood. So now, making sure we have this in the right position, again, using my little piece of wood. Now you need to squeeze down on this. Otherwise, that metal piece is just gonna fall out. So I just clamp it on down. Good old Jed, you know, Jed, Jed, clamp it. Well, in theory, that should be it. Okay, it still moves. You could probably force it out, but why would you? Okay, there you go. That's it. And I think what I'm actually going to do, just to give it a little bit of extra grip i'm gonna run some some glue around the edges there you go um that is pretty much it hopefully you find this video of interest if you don't well that's tough shit isn't it <laughs> but uh that's what i did um in fact if you want any of these clips you pay the postage send me uh, an email gstargarage at gmail.com and uh, I'll stick them in an envelope and post them to you. There you go. Can't say fairer than that. Not even going to charge you for them. So now get out in that carriage and do some shit.